Hey, YouTube. Um, if you've been here before, you know that I don't have the best opinion of Warpath. Which is important to tell you, because what we're about to show you is not Warpath. This is, this is a... This is a build that is not Warpath. Which means... I'm allowed to play it. Not a big deal. Pretty normal. Uh, I don't want to hear any complaining from anyone. The difference, like, we're not, you know, we get to move around. I'm not always channel. I, I literally cannot move and channel at the same time. So sometimes I'm not channeling, which leaves me in a vulnerable state of having less than 20,000 word. I don't know if we're supposed to be crit or non-crit. I don't know if we're supposed to use a two-hander or a one-hander. Or a shield or dual wield. I'm not entirely sure of all the details of the build yet. But the channeling node for healing hands is pretty strong. Before you ask, how are we getting so much ward? Uh, this is something we talked about at the very beginning of Healing Hands. There's a node in Healing Hands, and I'll show it on screen in a moment here. It says, Healing Hands gives you ward. Eh? But it says, if, if your ally, and you count as your own ally, if your ally has an effect that grants them ward based on how much missing health they have, which is like Exsanguinous or Last Step of the Living, those kinds of things, it says, instead... This node, uh, all, all healing from, from healing hands is converted to ward instead. And the purpose for this node is so that you don't kill your teammates. Because if your teammates are playing like a low life werebear build and you heal them, they die. Because they lose all their mitigation, their ward disappears, and they, they just, they die. Their, their build stops functioning. So in order for multiplayer to not be toxic, this node... It says, if an ally has an effect that causes them to gain ward based on their missing health, all the healing hands healing effect is converted to ward. I'm playing a healing hand DPS build. I've got a bunch of attunement. I have a bunch of healing effect to scale off this thing. And we have a tier one sealed affix on our gloves, which says current health, lost per second. Percent of missing health, gain is ward per second. So Exsanguinous, Last Up to Living, and this are enablers. And then you just... I'll have more details for you soon.